City Council candidate for District 6, Corey Gibbons Jr., kicked off his 2017 campaign at Alfred Witted Airport's Kanger Restaurant last Monday evening, January 30th. Approximately 50 well-wishers and family members came out to show support for the Gibbons campaign. The prolific speaker's choice of venue for kicking off his campaign reflects his holistic platform to utilize all resources necessary to make the city of St. Petersburg an economically sound and culturally rich urban mecca for all of its citizens. Our support, and yes, our money, is none other than Corey Gibbons Jr. Corey is not new to servanthood. And whenever you run for an elected office, especially when it is a local office, you're not running because of the pay. You're not running because they give you fabulous hours of eight to five. You're not running because individuals will stay out of your business and out of your life. And you certainly are not running because you want to make it all about you. You run for local elected offices because you want to make it about the people that you serve. And I believe Corey has done that over yes. the last few years. Yes. Working with his neighborhood association, you cannot miss the articles that have been in the Weekly Challenger when it comes to the neighborhood association partnering with students in the community for reading activities. You cannot miss Corey when you look at the issues that have been brought to light. And he has championed the community for moving forward with the Democratic Black Caucus Association. You cannot miss Corey when you look at the board for the Pinellas County Democratic Executive Committee and you see him standing there as an officer. He's also had the opportunity to run against me in a previous election. She beat me. He cut, <laughs> he, he cut his teeth at that time. But what I do want to say is everybody makes mistakes. Everybody sometimes makes decisions that perhaps they think that uh, they will not make again. They know they will not make again. I believe Corey has taken that foundation and he's not using it as something to shun aside. He's using it as something to build on. And I have seen that honestly in Corey in the last few years. I've seen Corey stand up for things that are right, such as affordable housing that's near and dear to my heart. Everybody de de deserves a safe, clean place to sleep. I've seen him champion issues when it comes to economic development with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, particularly focusing on small businesses in our community, because it's those small businesses that will employ the foundation, that will give those individuals who have felony records a job, that will use it as a groundswell for youth who want to look at entrepreneurship as an opportunity. All they need is someone to follow as an example. So I believe that that's why we're here. We're here to celebrate someone who will not only stand in the shoes for the district, but I believe he will elevate the shoes for the district. I bring to you none other than Corey Gibbons Jr. Thank you so much, Ms. Renee. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody for being here today. When she was talking, I tried with everything in me not to cry because <laughs> you all just don't know, you know? I mean, it's not easy to serve. You know, you get attacked, you get chewed up, sometimes spit out, then chewed up again and spit back out, but you get up. Yes. You brush yourself off. That's right. And you keep on working even harder. And that's the kind of message that I want to send across St. Pete is that Regardless of if you fall, you can get back up again. You just got to work a little bit harder. And like Ms. Renee said, that's what I've been trying to do. Working to show myself approved. Showing you that despite the mistakes that I've made, I'm ready to work. I'm ready to go if you're willing to send me. And that's the reason I'm running for public office. You know, running for public office, like I said, it takes a lot. It takes your time. It takes your money. <laughs> and it takes you away from your family. And it's important to make sure that you have good people in your circle. Amen. And my grandmother, Grandma, wave your hand real quick. My grandma died. That's why Grandma died. <laughs> my grandmother, she, she, she raised me in the church. And one thing she taught me is that you do unto others as you want others to do unto you. You treat people the right way and God will bless you because of it. 
I believe that the best is yet to come for St. Pete. And although we have challenges ahead of us as a city, I am optimistic, my friends, that if we work together, if we unite St. Pete, we can conquer those challenges. And we can accomplish the task. But I need each and every one of you to partner with me to make sure that we reach the highest echelon of success because it's possible. We have got to focus our energies not on what divides us, but rather what unites us. It's not about black or white. It's not about right or wrong. It's not about rich or poor. But it's about what works and what doesn't work for our city. How do we pivot ourselves so that we can go forward and not backwards? My friends, history has a way of repeating itself if we are cautious. And we're seeing that right now in our country. We're seeing the division. We're seeing the stress and strain that politics puts on our communities. And so it's passionate for me when I go home sometimes at night and I cry because I wanted to go down to the park and feed the homeless, but because of city ordinances, it put that constraint on me. It hurts me sometimes when I'm leaving my church and I see the man standing at the corner who can't feed his family because he doesn't have a job. It hurts me when I open up the newspaper and I see that another retail grocery store has failed in Midtown. It hurts me to my heart to see my people be left by the wayside. So that's why I'm running, folks. So you might be asking, what is it that you need? How can I help you? How can I serve those who are listening at home and those who are here today? Well, number one is you can sign up to volunteer. I have folks outside who are waiting to take your name, your email address, and all that stuff so you can get all bombarded with these emails about what we're doing on the campaign and how we are getting out there district by district, block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood. Friends, I'm proud to have the energy. I'm proud to have the enthusiasm, and I'm even prouder that I put aside a lot of my young adult years to focus on my community. And because of that, the past six years, I've been focusing on ways that I can serve folks, whether it be in the NAACP serving on the South St. Pete CRA or working in their schools in Pinellas County. I want to figure out how can we save our community. Because my focus is, and my mission is, I don't want to leave this place any worse than it was when I came into it. So we need you all to unite behind this campaign. Volunteer, knock on doors, call folks, and then of course I need you to plant a seed donation into the campaign. Whether it be $25, $50, $100, or $500, every little bit counts. It helps us to let voters at home know who I am what I've done, and what I'm trying to do. So I appreciate you again, my friends, for being here today. Your presence means the world to me. And I will hope that on August 29th, you will remember Corey Gibbons, Jr. Because I've worked my hardest to remember you. And I will hope that you'll go home today and you'll call up five friends and tell them about who Corey is, what Corey's done, and what he's trying to do next. Embracing our future while respecting our past. Thank you so much, friends. Talk to you for a minute, yeah. just for a second. Uh, my name's Alan Buchanan from the Weekly Challenges. Okay, how you doing, Alan? Fine. I just want to. Okay, so what do you think about um, Corey's uh, introduction for running for the council? Uh, I think his introduction was pretty good. He put a nice platform out on what he what he plans to do in the near future. Uh, I'm just here to uh, support him a little bit and uh, sit back and listen to him and hear what he has to say. Okay, and your name, sir? Trevor Mallory. Okay, so thank you, buddy. Thank you. How y'all doing? Okay, so how did you feel about um, Corey's uh, talk I am, today? I am, I, am, I am blessed. I'm just so grateful. And I know he's going to go places. Okay. Hey, Corey, we're so proud of you. And good luck with 
with the election, we know you can do it. You've been saying this since you were like three year olds that you wanted to be the president of the United States. Now you're on your way there, so we're going to support you as much as we can, and we appreciate what you're doing, and we're going to be behind you all the way. Okay, you heard today, and how you feel about Corey running for uh, city council? Well, I've known Corey for a couple of years now, and uh, I don't know a more dynamic uh, personality. I think he's a great guy. I think he'll do a great job. His heart's in the right place, and I look forward to helping him out. Okay, and your name, sir? My name is Bill Walker. Bill Walker? Yep. Thank you, sir. Ma'am? And I love, love, love Corey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's got the greatest smile and the greatest team. He'll do fine. He's a great young man, and that's what we need. We need young blood. And that's, he'll do fine. Thank you.